I'm going to give you some CSS to standardize the responsive clamping of your headings and your text from the get go because I've shared font clamp calculators and I'm a firm believer in that so that when you go from your desktop or a very large screen down to your mobile, your font shrinks and grows rather than step changes like duh, 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 because then you start worrying about many breakpoints and going, well, what's my font size for the desktop and what is it for the tablet and the horizontal tablet? And it gets quite messy. Now, font clamp calculation formulas are fantastic. And there are links in the video description for you to go and work it out. But the question I keep getting is, this is all really, really good. But what should my maximum and minimum be? Are there any standards? Now, no matter where you go, no matter what book you watch or video or whoever you talk to, people are going to have different opinions about what should be the largest size on a desktop for a heading one or a heading two. And what should be the smallest on a mobile for a heading six or even some text? I'm going to share some CSS that kind of does that for you, but feel free to go and modify that. And obviously you'd have to go and get your formula. And like I said, the link is in the video description, but I'm going to give you some CSS that kind of does a lot of the hard work for you. So I've got heading one going down to heading six paragraph and text, and every single one of these does not have a size. Okay. So it doesn't matter what I go to. If I go here, there is no size added for the desktop, the tablet, or the mobile. And if I go down to the text, again, there is no size added. What I've done is added in some CSS. So I've gone over to my site settings and I've gone to custom CSS and I have dropped this in. So I've gone away and I've gone and put together some of the large or minimum sizes that I generally use and I'm giving them to you. And you can get these for free, okay? The link is in the video description. You go to site setting and you paste this in. Now I want you to ignore the hashtag hero, okay? Ignore that and I'm gonna explain that in a moment. So I am saying that my HTML root size is 16 pixel. By default, that is what it will be for Elemental anyway. You can completely get rid of that line if you want, but I'm just putting it in here in case you decide to change your root size to 10. Let me explain. One REM, which is what we're using for clamp and what you should be using for responsive text is equal to 16 pixel. If I change my font size here, the root HTML to be 10 pixel, then one REM is equal to 10 pixel. Therefore, two REM is going to be 20 pixel. At the moment, the default is 16, so 2 REM is 32 pixel, 16 times 2. So some people like to work with 10 pixels because it's easier to do the decimals, but that's entirely up to you. So you could get rid of that. I've just put it in just to remind you. So I've said that header 1, the largest size is 64 pixel and the smallest is 40. So I've gone and got the clamp calculation, and like I said, you can refine this, okay? 64 to 40. So when you are on the desktop, that will be 64. And when we get to the mobile, that is now 40. Okay. And when you get to tablet, it will be somewhere in the middle because it's size it enlarges and shrinks as you increase and decrease your size of your screen or your resolution. So every time you add in a heading and you've got the H1 tag, and I will show that if I go to this H2 heading and I change this to now be a H1, the size is going to jump up because that's the size we've set it to. And if I put it to H2, it goes down because obviously I had a different size there. And you can see the size. So the H2 is 56 pixel to 32. Then I've gone 48 for 28. I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can see the sizes there. And you can copy and paste this CSS. And like I said, if you decided your H5 was not going to go from 32 to 20 and you wanted to go from, say, 34 to 18, use the link in the video description. Go and stick in your values. And then it will give you the formula that you will paste here. The formulas are set to use a maximum width of 1200 pixel and a minimum of 400. So if you wanted your minimum to be 350 and your maximum to be 1600, go and drop it into the tool with your values and it will chuck out a different formula and then go and replace them over here. Now, what does this mean for header one? When you get to, say, 1200 pixel, the largest size will be 64 pixels or whatever is the REM value. If your screen was now 2000 pixel, it still will not grow bigger than 64 pixels. So I've set like a stop point, right? That's the maximum. And as you shrink down, it will shrink down to 40 pixel or whatever is the REM. But if you were to go beyond the 400 pixel size, so let's say your mobile was 380 
it won't be smaller than 40 pixels. Okay, so again, that's the maximum and that's the minimum of what it will shrink and grow. I hope that makes sense. And of course, you can see we've got our body and our paragraphs. Now, you will notice that I've also gone and done the font weight. So this is a little bit extra that sometimes some people don't always account for. If you want to go and drop in a line height and have a formula for that, you can add that in as well. It depends on how prescriptive you want to be over your CSS for your fonts. So I've gone and said that header one is 900. If I go and change that to be 100, that now means that every time you drop in a header one, and again, I'm going to prove that if I go to H2 and I change that to be a header one, look at that. The size grows, obviously, because it's got the H1 size and the weight as well. So you can do so much work, like before you even start building your website with a bit of CSS. I'm not going to call this a framework, OK, but it is a little bit like a framework for your fonts to ensure they are responsive and you're getting the right weighting as well. Let's pop that back to 900. Of course, though, if you are uploading your font families and your variations, make sure you've gone and added in the correct weighting. But again, you could modify this to work for you. But what if you don't want to always use what you've gone and pasted here? Maybe for a particular heading one, you don't want to have that particular size for a, a particular reason. So you might have a heading one that is actually in your hero banner. And even though throughout the website, every H1 is going to be 64 pixel to 40, maybe you want to just use a certain size for the hero banner. That is why I've gone and added in a little bit of extra text. Now, I have intentionally not done a clamp calculation formula just to show you how you can manipulate it however you want. So I've said that hashtag hero H1, the font size is 100 pixel and the font weight is 100. And then I've done it for H2 and I've done it for paragraphs. So basically your text editor as well. So I'm just showing you that you would have your standard, which is here, but with hashtag hero, you will now have a different set of rules apply. Let me show you that. Let's make a duplicate of this H1 over here. It is definitely a H1. Okay, remember, you can change your HTML tag. I'm going to go to the Advanced tab, and I'm going to go to where we have the CSS ID. Now, if my CSS code had said dot .hero, then I would be sticking in the word hero over here, because dot .hero is going to be the class. But because it's a hashtag hero, I've set it as an ID, because it might be that you're going to have a different class name where you're doing certain things with your classes. Maybe you've got some sort of global class framework in mind. So if I go and type in hero now here, look at that. That has grown to 100 pixel. Uh, well, it's, yeah, it's 100 pixel and the weighting was 100 as well. Notice that if I take it off to what it was originally and if I pop the code back in, it grows up again. Why is this useful? Because I've got my standard below for the entire website, but for the hero banner, I want to have a H1 heading, but I want to have a completely different style and a different weighting applied. And you could then have maybe hashtag team, hashtag uh, section for something else, whatever naming convention you want to use. Even after you've done all this, that doesn't mean you can't manipulate what you've now got on the screen in terms of doing things on the fly. Let me show you. My H1 has no size because obviously we're using the CSS, which has got the clamp calculation for responsive sizing. The weighting is set to default as well. But if I was to go over here and change this to be thin, it changes it for me. And if I was to go and start messing around with the size, I can do that here as well. So if you did want to do anything on the fly and you didn't want to go and add in, you know, extra hashtag IDs or whatever, you can do that. But I do want to give you a little bit of a warning. So down here, we have another heading, which is currently using the paragraph HTML tag. So again, I could go into here, I could go and change the weighting. So let's make it bold and I could make it be a bigger size. Of course, remember what you really want to be doing is sticking in a clamp calculation formula by going picking the pencil. So you could do that. But if you go to the text editor, OK, and remember, we've gone and stuck in some CSS with some responsive sizing. If you go here and I now type in 100, it ain't going to change it for you. And if I go over to the weighting and go and say make it bold, it doesn't change it for you. So just bear that in mind. To be honest, though, I feel that once you've gone and set your responsive sizing clamp for your text in terms of what the largest and smallest would be, I don't think you're really going to want to start modifying that on the fly. That gives you some reasonable standards in terms of largest and smallest is going to massively help you out. And you can go and get this for free. The link is in the video description. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron.
I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, waste no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings.